Electric vehicles, are they cleaner than gas cars? The production of electric vehicle batteries is a complex process. It takes raw materials from all around the world to manufacture them. A typical electric car requires six times the mineral inputs of a gas-powered car, according to a May 2021 report by the International Energy Agency. The agency estimates the electric car industry will need at least 30 times as much lithium, nickel, and other key minerals by 2040 to meet global climate targets. Why are these minerals so critical, and where are they mined? Lithium is the key mineral for storing the energy in EV battery cells. Australia is the world's largest lithium mine producer, followed by Chile, China, and Argentina. It's China, however, that controls the existing battery supply chain. Typically, rechargeable batteries use a mix of cobalt, nickel, and manganese to make up the battery cathode. These crucial resources are mined all over the world, with the Democratic Republic of the Congo producing nearly 70% of the world's mined cobalt in 2021. About 80% of that Congolese cobalt gets shipped to China for processing before being incorporated into lithium-ion batteries. The United States wants to reduce the dependence on China and other countries, and one way to do that is by opening new mines. Currently, there is only one lithium mine operating in the United States, Silver Peak Mine in Nevada, with another mine, Thacker Pass Lithium Mine, close to development in northern Nevada. This is the largest known lithium resource in the U.S. and is located within an extinct supervolcano. Activists, ranchers, and environmental groups question whether having this project in their backyard is a good idea. Will the good, mining lithium for renewable energy, outweigh the concerns of the environmental impact on northern Nevada? The environmental aspects of mining are strictly regulated in the United States. Operations and waste products associated with metal extraction are the main causes of concern. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's Toxics Release Inventory, metal mining is the nation's top toxic chemical polluter. Are electric vehicles really clean? The U.S. Department of Energy's Argonne National Laboratory developed a model that calculates the lifetime emissions of vehicles. Reuters analyzed Argonne's data and found that the production of EVs generates more CO2 before the first wheel turns, but the total carbon footprint of gas cars quickly overtakes that of EVs after 15,000 miles of driving. If the EV draws electricity from a coal-fired grid, the catch-up period stretches to more than five years. But if the grid is powered by hydroelectricity, the catch-up period is about six months. Battery technology is continuing to evolve. Solid-state batteries are being tested. Nissan is working with NASA to create a solid-state battery that can fully charge in 15 minutes instead of a few hours. Even a battery chemistry that is totally free of heavy metals and is extracted from seawater is being developed right now. EVs are not zero emissions vehicles. They have their own environmental impacts depending on how they are manufactured and charged. However, studies have found that over time they are cleaner than gas cars. If EV batteries get a major makeover, more electricity grids start running on renewable energy, and recycling rates for lithium-ion batteries improve, there will be an even stronger argument for electric vehicles.